President Midwife here at Healthy Bump Club. And I'm so happy that you're here today because I'd like to discuss with you something that you've probably heard a lot about in the pregnancy world, and that is folic acid. What is folic acid? How should you take it? Is it the same thing as a prenatal vitamin? I'm really, I'm really excited to discuss that with you today. Something that a lot of people don't know is that folic acid is actually the man-made version of vitamin B9. And B9 is also known as folate. Typically in regular life, we get our folate from some of our favorite foods, which are kale, Brussels sprouts, any really dark leafy green, liver, kidney beans. But you can also get it from chickpeas, which make hummus, which is quite tasty and a really great snack. And also from fortified breakfast cereals. And what that means is that if you were to look on the box of your favorite cereal, you would see that it would be that it would say fortified with vitamin B or vitamin uh, B9 or folic acid. All that means is that they add that into the cereal for you. So when you're not pregnant, folate is really important because it helps maintain healthy blood, specifically healthy red blood cells. When you're pregnant for your developing baby, it helps to create a healthy brain and a healthy spine. You've heard people talk about the neural tube, and that is the structure that is in the baby when baby is developing in your tummy that will turn into the brain and to the spine. So when you don't have enough folate or folic acid, the man-made version that we take tablets of, what can happen is that you can have an abnormal development of the brain or the spine. The neural tube is the structure that is found in the developing baby. And the neural tube will eventually turn into the brain and the spine. When you don't have enough folate in your diet, what can happen is that the brain or the spine can develop abnormally. Sometimes you've heard this referred to as the a neural tube defects. One of the ones that are most commonly heard of are spina bifida. And spina bifida, according to the CDC, is when the, anywhere along the spine, there's something that's abnormally happening. And a lot of the times it looks like maybe your pelvic or your tailbone didn't develop normally. So parts of the spine are exposed. Like sometimes you literally can see the nerves and parts of the spine. And this can cause problems physically and sometimes also cognitively. So folic acid is very important because it improves your chances of having a healthy pregnancy. So if you supplement, because sometimes we're not really sure what we're eating all the time, right? You're not always eating your best. Sometimes you don't have the best food resources. So taking supplementation, meaning taking something extra, can help ensure or at least improve your chances of having a healthy, a healthily developed baby. Interestingly enough, the neural tube closes or develops very early on in pregnancy, usually between six to eight weeks, it's already formed. So that's why it is so important that we take our prenatal vitamins early in pregnancy and have early prenatal care. It should be comforting for you to know though that most women don't actually know that they're pregnant until about six weeks, eight weeks, 10 weeks, 12 weeks. And most of our children are born without neural tube defects. So a lot of us do get the folate we need in our diet, but it is really great to supplement. So if you're somebody who's planning to be pregnant, it is really important for you to start taking folic acid even before you're pregnant. Now you may be wondering, how do I get folic acid? Where does it come from? In the United States and in most developed nations, folic acid is actually found in your prenatal vitamins, which is really good to know. I know you guys have all seen some women who have a lot of vitamins or a lot of things they have to take in their pregnancy, maybe a tablet for folic acid, a tablet for iron, a tablet for prenatal vitamins. But it's really good for you to know that most prenatal vitamins prescribed to you by the person who's helping you, whether that's your midwife, your doctor, your physician's assistant or nurse practitioner, they will prescribe you prenatal vitamins with enough folic acid to make the positive difference. The basic amount of folic acid that you need is 400 micrograms a day. That is micrograms. So if you were to buy a bottle of prenatal vitamins and you would look at all the nutrition label and the ingredients, you would look for vitamin B9, folic acid, or folate. If it has 400 MCG or more, you have more than enough that you need to have a healthy pregnancy. Now, some women may need more, and we'll talk about that a little bit later. So it's really important to have a good quality prenatal vitamin. After six to eight weeks, that neural tube is closed. So if you're talking about taking prenatal vitamins to decrease your chance of neural tube defects, the earlier, the better. That's why we recommend that for those women who are trying to get pregnant, you already know in your planning, start beforehand so that you don't even have to worry about it. And you know you have enough folic acid or folate on board 
and you've got that base covered. But it's also really important to remember that you should take your prenatal vitamins all the way through pregnancy and after because there are other nutrients in those prenatal vitamins, right? You have vitamin A, B, C, D, you have iron, all of these things that are continually helping you to stay healthy, give nutrients to your body and to your developing baby throughout the pregnancy and even recovery. So it's easy to remember, get a good quality prenatal vitamin that has your folic acid, 400 micrograms or more. Really, it's hard to overdose on vitamin B9 or folic acid. Most supplements will have anywhere from 400 micrograms to 800 micrograms to 1,000. Very rare side effects to it unless you're somebody that you know that you have a sensitivity or allergy to vitamin B9. So now let's talk about if you are somebody who is going to need more folic acid supplementation than the regular general population. Who are these women and how do you know if you are one of those women?